Okay, Big Louie. Now I'm fed up with you pushing me around, see? And I'm tired of doing all your dirty work for peanuts, see? So I'm cutting myself in for half the take. The good part. Watch what tough Donny does to Big Louie when they get down and up. Trying to ruin pictures, stop face so and fresh. shut mouth. <laughs> Well, I just goes to show you, Rulu, the only good rat fink is a dead rat fink. <laughs> Rulu really dig that kind of jazz. Okay, now, down to business, oh noble chief. Right. That fine picture was just a down payment on your shipment of fruit mash. Now, let's see. 20 jugs at six bucks a piece means that you get... Not so fast. Oh, Rulu fed up you pushing him around. Deal off. What do you mean, oh? A deal's a deal. Yeah, the guys are right, Arulu. You take back that fruit mash, and you're an Indian giver. <laughs> that picture really opened eyes. If Tough Tony not work for peanuts, Arulu not either. I start on booze racket. Arulu come back for mash in morning. Fondo, fondo! Out of way, punk. <laughs> on the scramble phone. Have a right. Yes. Why don't you say so long? You stand and get the phone. <laughs> ah. Sorry, sir. Oh. 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 I can give you one more. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it there, sir. My aide tells me he was just going through the files and that the official treaty for the use of McHale's Island was never signed by Chief Urulu. McHale is trespassing. I mean, McHale is uh, trespassing. Now, I have to fly to Pearl Harbor for a week. I'll send you a copy of the treaty, and I want it signed by the time I come back. Yes, sir, Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. Uh, over now. I heard, sir. Shall I contact Chief Arulu immediately, sir? Yes, yes. Have him over here this afternoon. I have him over for uh, cocktails. For cocktails? That cannibal, sir? Did you ever think what would happen if that cannibal didn't sign the treaty? Oh, it'd be terrible, sir. Why, we'd have to billet Commander McHale and his entire crew right here on Taratupa, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, we could watch them night and day, and one misstep, pow! <laughs> sir, your guest has arrived. Uh, greetings, oh great and noble chief. Please. Oh, you uh, brought a friend. Well, that's delightful, delightful. I was just about to open this champagne, Chief. Won't you try some of this? Mmm, 1937. What mob bootlegging this kind of merchandise? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> isn't that cute, Carpenter? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mob. <laughs> oh, okay, Chief, I'd like you to try some of this delicious caviar. Oh, knock off coconut polishing. And you no call me Chief anymore. From now on, you call me boss. Now, what do you want? Well, you are a sly one, Chief. I mean, the boss. I, I guess we're going to have to come right out and tell you. You see there, there's been a little oversight, Chief, a boss. This treaty allowing the Navy the use of Mikhail's Island, you forgot to sign it. 
It's just a little tiny mistake, you understand. So <laughs> if you'd be kind enough to... Uh... Yeah, see, right here at the bottom here, you see, we can't keep Mikhail and his crew out there without your signature. Can't? No, 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 of course not, certainly not. He'd have to move from his island, and we wouldn't want that, would we, boss? <laughs> now, if you just sign right here on the bottom side. Who are you trying to con, wise guy? I no sign. And you tell Admiral that my final word. And you tell Mikhail, it goodbye time, come tomorrow. <laughs> Well, Carpenter, <clears throat> we tried, didn't we? We just have to tell the Admiral that we tried and we failed. <laughs> Not feel so bad, Wally. Maybe you lose island, but you gaining buddy. You okay for dirty, crummy rat fink? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sir, sir! Don't you realize, sir? It worked. It worked. Oh! oh. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, that's all right, Elroy. I'm so happy, I don't mind. I'm even willing to waste this beautiful pie. <laughs> Oh, afternoon, Captain. Oh, this is a pleasant surprise. Good afternoon, Quentin, my boy. Here's another pleasant surprise. Oh. <laughs> to Lieutenant Commander Quentin McHale. Subject, orders to transfer. Those are your walking papers. As of 1,200 hours tomorrow, you and your brigands are being transferred from this thieves' paradise over to the main base, where I can keep an eye on you around the clock. How's that grab you? Oh, come on. Cut the kid and Captain Why? Well, we were stationed in by Admiral Rogers, personally. Mm -hmm. That's true, Mikhail. The Admiral was under the mistaken notion that we had a treaty with a ruler leasing this island to the Navy. Only the chief forgot to sign it, and now he's changed his mind. Thank you, Elroy. That makes you trespassers, squatters, vagrants. So start packing. That's an order. Aye, aye, sir. Bye-bye, <laughs> sir. We can't move back to the main base. That's like being condemned to Devil's Island. Yeah, them SPs will be breathing down our necks 24 hours a day. Yeah, Skip will be in the brig within a week. Oh, right already, will you pipe down? Well, the way I see it, there's only one thing to do. We've got to go over and sweet talk a Rulu into signing that treaty. But how? Ever since he saw that gangster picture, he's become one tough gorilla. Well, then we got to figure out a way to soften him up. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we invite him over tonight and show him a Shirley Temple movie? <laughs> oh, she always made me cry. All right, let's go, Chuck. Let's go. Good luck. Hello, uh, Benny Sanders. Benny, Benny who? We don't know any Benny. Benny, Benny, you know. <laughs> You sure got some speakeasy here, all right. Yes, three. Uh, you come here, Mikhail. You case joint for old mob. Hmm? Oh, no, no. You got us all wrong, Arulu, old buddy. Why, well, we just came over here for a friendly powwow. One night, man. Never talk business in front of poop poop doop girls. Money, hula, scuba. That means 23 skidoo. 23? They don't look a day over 18 to me. <clears throat> now, Arulu. Use what? coffee cups for booze. Full feds in case joint rated. <laughs> Two dollars a piece, you owe me eight dollars. Eight dollars? Syndicate set price. <laughs> okay, Chuck, pay him. Down the hatch. <laughs> now, what's your proposition, Mikhail? No proposition, Rulu, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just wanted to come over and apologize for the things I said to you yesterday. Uh, well, you know, after all, you and me had been friends for a long time. Forget it, pal. I know sign treaty. Smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Be reasonable. This my territory, see? Anybody try to muscle in, I rub out, see? I don't see anything. Besides, I don't need you, Mikhail. I got lead bottom on my side. So... 
I should have figured there was some kind of hanky panky going on around here. Ha ha! Come on! Ha ha! So you let Binghamton get to you, huh? Nobody get the big old Ulu. I call shots around here. Speaking of shots, I'll have another one. <laughs> Yeah, well, Lulu, you won't be calling him for very long, I'll tell you. That Binghamton is sneakier than that tough Tony in that movie. Yes, sir. <laughs> you want to know something? He'll give you the shiv ten minutes after we leave. Hmm. Maybe you got point there, Mikhail. Skunk no change stripe overnight. It's high time I show lead bottom who boss man around. Oh, no, 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 Rulo, no, no, no. Be reasonable now. You know, you, you just, just, just sign the oh, treaty. Oh, and... you finish, Mikhail. Come noon tomorrow, you out of business. Too bad, but that's the way coconut crumble. <laughs> well, I guess we told him. 23 skidoo. Oh, shot. Come on, will you? Let's... Well, uh, greetings, to Chief, our boss. That's a that's a lovely hat you're wearing. Always dress formal when come to talk business, Lead Bottom. <laughs> Big Urulu come to sell you protection. Protection? Protection from who? 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 From me, me, me. You don't pay off, never know what happened. Good heavens. Oh, dear, you break my window. You don't pay protection, lots of windows maybe get broke. <laughs> my ship's clock. You don't pay protection, lots of ship's clocks maybe get broken. You listen to me, fat boy. You can't scare me. I'm a captain. I'm not going to pay you any protection. I'm not afraid of you or your overgrown pygmies. You talk tough, but nobody push me around. Huh? You no pay off, and I be stool pigeon to Admiral Rogers. Admiral Rogers? That's a stool pigeon to the Admiral. But about what? What? Oh, like how you bribe me with caviar, try to get me drunk with champagne so I know sign treaty. You wouldn't do a thing like that. You you would. You'd, you'd do it. You dirty. What, what kind of protection did you have in mind? Oh, nothing cheap. If a first payment would like a hundred cases, can meet four rubber life rafts and own private jeep. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll take care of you, you big... <laughs> Couldn't we talk this over? Talk is cheap. You no pay off, I squeal, and you take rap, go to the big house. <laughs> so long, punk. Well, goodbye, happy home. Yeah, it was great while the last all the rotten luck. Yeah, I can just see Binghamton laughing now. Oh, I'm so mad I can... <laughs> hey, everybody, duck! Sorry, Skip. Oh, that was sure a close one. The good thing there wasn't any... But... Oh, no! <laughs> Captain Binghamton! Captain Binghamton! Uh, are you all right, sir? Are you all right? Uh, of course I'm all right, Quentin. It's awfully nice to ask. Thank you, Quentin. Quentin? Well, now, look, sir, we, I, I mean, I can explain. I oh, you mean about the gig? <laughs> Don't worry about my gig. The Navy's got plenty more where that one came from. Chucky boy. <laughs> Chucky boy. Now I know there's something wrong. Yeah, me too, Skip. Every time my mother called me that, I meant a spanking. A spanking? Did you hear that, Quint? Maybe a spanking? <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I got quite a sense of humor this morning. <laughs> you mean you're not mad at me, sir? Oh, mad at you? Of course not, boy. Well, uh, all right then, Captain. If everything's okay, then uh, what, what do you want from us? Uh, are you in some kind of trouble? Me in trouble? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, ridiculous, oh. <laughs> Well, then, uh, is it that uh, your scheme to put the screws to us didn't uh, come off, Captain? Or uh, is it that Chief Arulu has you over a barrel? 
Maybe. <laughs> Don't you mention that cannibal to me. Compared to him, Al Capone looks like a choir boy. He's going to bleed me white if we don't get him to sign that treaty. Uh -huh. Worse than that, he'll tell the Admiral that we purposely disobeyed his orders. <laughs> Disobey? Oh, well, so that's it, Captain. Suddenly we got to pull your chestnuts out of the fire, huh? Well, your chestnuts too, McHale. You want your happy little island, don't you? And I want my career, my future, my life. Ah, uh, well, I'm not so sure about that, Captain. We tried to get a ruler to sign the treaty, but he wouldn't go for it. Hey, you guys got any ideas? Oh, I don't know, Skip. It's all my fault. If I hadn't asked him to see that crummy gangster movie in the first place... Yeah, he wouldn't be walking around like a jungle John Dillinger. Uh, well, I gotta admit, Captain, I'm a... Say now, wait a minute. Something's coming to me. Oh, what oh, is it, Skip? Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. Well, now, if a ruler wants to live like a gangster, maybe we can arrange for him to, uh, die like one. Huh? <laughs> and his mob, they're after us. We had them caught, Marshal, but they broke out of the brigand and they rubbed out the guards in cold blood. Hey, you, gotta, you gotta help us before it's too late. What kind of malarkey are you trying to hand me, punk? They just small-time operators. Not got guts to hurt Chi Chi Fly. <laughs> Dirty rush Pingleton's gotta be in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the party's over. You guys no can bust in here. This private speakeasy got no right to come in here. And besides, you are the uniform. That's for our mob, we ain't fat boy. All right, on your feet, Stewie. Oh, no, 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 don't kill me. I'm too young to die. Ah, uh, that ain't for us to say, Buster. That's up to the boss. <laughs> by the door, Lefty. You too, righty. <laughs> oh, no, I beg of you, sir. Mercy. Mercy. Watch it, Crumb. You're ruining the shoe shine. Do it, shoot him out with glasses. Yeah. Okay, boy, show him we got a heart. Shoot a guy without glasses. <laughs> him. They got me. Oh, why was I born with 2020 vision? No. <laughs> what come over you guys? You sure not like you used to be. How do you know what we was like in the old days? Yeah. The only reason we joined the Navy because we're on the land. But your cop loving friend there found out about us and blew the whistle. So now he's going to get paid off by, uh, the Enforcer. All right, you guys. Step back while I give this guy what all guys like this guy deserve. <laughs> Sit down. Well, took us a while to catch up with you, didn't it? <laughs> hey, Scarface, we ain't got all day. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, boss, I, uh... Forgot about the main side massacre. Uh, no, 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 mercy, mercy. Ah, uh, shut up, Captain Ratfink. You've been asking for it, and now you're gonna get it. Take this. Wit, 27. Length, 68. Yeah, ought to be a perfect fit. All right, boys, bring it in. Easy does it. Ah, cement's a little wet yet. Better let it set before we drop him in. No, 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 no. I think they wouldn't hurt a teachy fly, huh? Look at that, cement kimono. What'd you expect, Crumb? It's anything I can't stand. It's a two-bit, dirty, rotten, low-down, double-crossing rat fink. A stool pigeon. Gee, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm just friendly native. Right, fellas? Boys? Pal? Sorry, fat stuff, but we can't have no witnesses. Okay, dum dum. <laughs> oh, 
We want to give him a real nice funeral. <laughs> this camp is working. Yeah, he swallowed the whole bait, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> nothing can stop us now. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, let's go get the semen. Michael, we got to talk. Who don't want to chicken to die? I get it, punk. There's no way out. Pour the cement. Oh, you roll off. You'll only listen to me and sign that treaty. None of this would have happened. But what if Urulu change mine? Then I'll have to bump us off. <laughs> Pipe down, will you? It's one thing I can't stand. It's a crying fat man. Pour the cement. No pour cement, Kimono. Not about. I sign. I sign. I sign. <laughs> uh, quick, before they change their minds, sign the treaty. Pen, the pen. Who's got a pen? A pen. Hey, Scarface, the pen. Hurry up. <clears throat> I must have dropped it. I mean, uh, I'll lay him back and get one. Uh, out of the way, mink. Uh, I mean, uh, a pink thing. <laughs> It, punk. <laughs> uh, look, Buster, beat it. This is my territory. Vincent Parker, huh? Uh, trick or treat. <laughs> you see, we were celebrating Halloween a little early this year. <laughs> all the guys get, get all dressed up. Kale, where is that imbecile Parker? I want Blubber Belly to change his mind. Come on in, Scarface. You sure took your time about. How about a row of ten hut? <laughs> yeah, Admiral Rogers, sir. I, I can explain this whole thing, Admiral. It's just a, it's a big joke. <laughs> just a big joke, eh? So you pull a little leg. You not really tough guy. The whole deal off. I not sign treaty. <laughs> oh, you want, eh? Huh? Okay, fat boy, get in a barrel. Take that fed with a gold braid with you. Chuck, have you flipped? Admiral Rogers, I've had nothing to do with this. I'll see if this man is court martialed the first thing in the morning. Pendleton, you want to get us all killed? You may think this is a joke, Captain. And you may think these killers are not tough. But I know better. Why, their pictures are hanging in every fleet post office in the South Pacific. Uh, yeah, yeah. Admiral, you must be mistaken. These men aren't really... What in your lip, you creep? <laughs> okay, fat boy, you're next. Oh, no, wait. I lousy dancer. I sign. I sign. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about that, Skip? <laughs> captain? Oh, Captain! Hey, uh, Captain! Hey, Big Louie, now I'm fed up with you pushing me around, see? And I'm tired of doing all your dirty work for peanuts, see? So I'm cutting myself in for half the take. The good part, watch what Tough Donny does to Big Louie when they get down and up. Trying to ruin pictures, stop That's face so and fresh. shut mouth. <laughs>
with movie fans, everybody up. Picture's over. Oh, Well, that just goes to show you, Rulu, the only good rat fink is a dead rat fink. <laughs> Rulu really dig that kind of jazz. Okay, now, down to business, oh noble chief. Right. That fine picture was just a down payment on your shipment of fruit mash. Now, let's see. 20 jugs at six bucks a piece means that you get... Not so fast. Oh, Rulu fed up you pushing him around. Deal off. What do you mean, off? That deal's a deal. Yeah, the guys are right, Rulu. You take back that fruit mash, and you're an Indian giver. <laughs> that picture really opened eyes. If Tough Tony not work for peanuts, oh, Rulu not either. I start on booze racket. Oh, Rulu come back for mash in morning. Fondo, fondo! Out of way, punk. 